thing. thing. When I'm in school, I, school, I gotta, I gotta focus. focus. But I'm in ministry, I don't have any time. I'm doing it, and then it's just like, girl. I may not wake up feeling flawless. a vlog since May so it's been five months since I've came to you guys and this is what this video is all about like what happened why I started stuff and kind of where I am now um, pretty much I started the vlog at the end of my junior year in the summer and it was good I had time on my hands I was like yes man I'm about to do this YouTube thing like, then I got busy. Um, I got really busy. I actually ran my first um, kids camp. I started a kids camp and um, through my church, and um, that ran for about two weeks. But everything up leading into that, planning. So that was like the end of May, and then from morning to night, I was kind of working the camp. Um, and not really night because it ended earlier, but like after like working with a whole bunch of kids, you're like, I'm going to sleep. Bye. And then plus I'm still doing ministry, so I just did not have the time or I guess I didn't know how to make time for it um, so I'm sorry that I started didn't stop I mean I started stopped but I'm back that's why I'm doing this right now so this summer um, that was a really good experience I actually I thought about making a vlog every day while I was doing that stuff like I need to share with everybody like what's going on with this camp and the kids and how this is like blessing my life like what we did um, we ran, it was free for the community. Um, we ran a camp, we picked the kids up. It started from around like, I think nine or 10, and then um, it ended around three o'clock. It was like an extended BBS type thing, but it, we I called it the camp because it was longer hours, and we had more staff, and we had more activities, like we did cooking classes, we had outdoor things like that. And I mean, you can do that BBS, but BBS is typically around like three hours, and BBS is typically not free either, but um, it was awesome because um, I had a vision about it, like I had an idea about it, and I went to my pastor earlier in the year, and he was like, let's get it. So that, that was really awesome for me because it came to pass and I got to see it. So the plan is to do the same thing this year. Um, little sidebar, it is so important, like there's no better feeling than having leadership that believes in you and like supports the things that you come up with and it's not like oh well mm, I don't know but like gets behind you um, and supports you and like believes like if you have a burden for something they want to they want to use you and things like that so that is very important I'm really blessed to have the leadership that I have um, I love my pastor I love my church so moving on um, after that um, I began working at the church for like the summer kind of like an internship thing um, I did a lot of things um, what it was like business hours nine to five and that's really just not my thing like i can't with a nine to five type stuff like i'm a creative so like you try to sit me down to do things like uh, i need to like make music or i need to be doing something that's like an outlet that was a that was a change for me i enjoyed thoroughly enjoyed working at the church because it was a very good learning experience and i learned a lot about Working with people and kind of the processes that my pastor goes through when he's doing things but the other side of that where I was like making phone calls or like <sighs> that wasn't so fun but it was a blessed experience but I was busy but uh, after that I went to school I had conference things like that and now that it's kind of hitting, hitting like kind of the midterm season I'm really like thinking about like I really want to get back in the habit of making videos and it's not even like I was really in the habit I only had like three videos but it was a it's on my it was on my mind to do it so it was kind of like a habit I was thinking about it I wanted to do it so here we are um, life has been good there's so many things that's happened there's so many conferences and words that came forth oh, woo. so like I'm excited um, and for those of you who follow me on Instagram or Facebook 
you know that I am releasing a song. Yeah. Oh, seriously, I'm releasing a song. I released my first single um, in 2017. In um, early 2017, um, uh, I partnered with Scotty Productions, and that was awesome. I mean, Majesty was a great track. I love that song so much. And it's almost gonna be two years um, in January that I've done anything, and I'm just so anxious to kind of get this song out because, like, this song is everything to me. Um, so I've been doing that. Um, and of course, would this be really a life is the vlog if I didn't enter a little <laughs> encouragement? I learned over the summer and this kind of this semester, you're in control, period. You can't blame anybody for where you are. You can't blame anybody for where you're not. You're in control. I remember sitting there thinking like, oh it's been two years, almost. Since Maddie's been out, I haven't done anything. But I'm in school, I gotta focus, but I'm in ministry, I don't have any time. I'm doing it, and it's just like, girl, if this is a vision that you have, if it's a dream that you have, you decide if you're hungry enough to work however you can to make it happen. And you know what? When I had that conversation with myself, I called up my friend and I was like, I need you to keep me accountable. I have a vision from God. I, I really believe in this thing and I have a passion for this thing. You know, I've written so many songs, I've done so many, you know, there's no reason why I can't be working and doing this because there's never going to be a perfect time to achieve your dreams there's there if you're gonna if you're waiting for that girl if you're waiting for the perfect time to go into your purpose and to do this this and this and that you're wasting your life don't wait yes be wise don't go and be on you know oh well, i don't got the money but i'm gonna move you know and do this and i don't got no family or money or anything up there and i'm just gonna Sometimes people do do that, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just saying, be smart about it. If it's where you know it's not detrimental to your health or to your well-being, where you can work that extra long and get it done, then that's what you need to do. And that's kind of what I did. Um, we've been in the studio. We've been doing a lot of things. I've been kind of talking strategically with my team. And I got my team together and kind of like, let's figure out what we're doing and how we're gonna do it. And now that they're a part of it, you know, it just, you feel like you're not alone and you're not like carrying this big burden by yourself. And that's another thing, you need a support system. I don't care if how strong you are, what kind of person you are, the personality you have, trust me, I'm, I am a very strong personality, I'm very confident, and I can do a lot of things on myself. Um, I like to do, I like to like conquer things on myself, I really do. But when it comes to these things, it's bigger than you, especially if it's your you know, purpose, your calling, it is bigger than you. You need people there to support you. And you need people to keep you accountable and those days that you don't believe they will believe and they'll encourage you you know it it takes a team you have to have a team so you're in control that's one two you need a team of people who believe and support you and that could be your family that could be your closest friends that could be people who don't even live where you are that could be people online i don't know whatever that is for you you will know what it is because it pushes you it drives you it it's it, it reminds you daily like okay we're we're striving for something bigger so i that was one of the biggest things i had to stop making excuses like oh i'm in school maybe when i graduate this and this and this and that and it's like for what why are you waiting I don't have the resources. I don't have this, this, and that. Girl, you better get to networking. <laughs> you better get to making those connections. You better get to putting yourself out there. You better get to um, uh, connecting with people who have the same vision with you and understand where you are and, and kind of want to be there with you, you know, grow with you. That's pretty much it, you know. I, this is in the Life is Leave vlog. If I don't leave you with a little token of girl, get it together because time is not waiting for you but your purpose is and God is waiting for you so stay tuned um I thank you guys for watching this vlog and 
for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, let's go. Hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be more consistent. Not saying I'm gonna be every week, but I, I really do want. I really do want to keep this YouTube thing going. Like it feels so good to kind of like connect with people and it, that I would probably never connect with on a daily, and kind of just share my heart. And like I said, this is the journey, and I want you guys a part of it. So again, watch out for November second because my single's coming out. Follow me on social media and Spotify and iTunes and all of that good stuff. Bye.